Stafford Center was recently host to the 14th Annual Crimes Against Persons Conference. President of Fort Bend County Crimes Victims Response Team, Chad Bridges, tells us more about the conference. Each year, one of our biggest events is to come together and present training for our local law enforcement with a keynote speaker and a lot of our local talent here who are in law enforcement and other agencies to help us train, to help us network, and help us better serve crime victims throughout Fort Bend County and the surrounding areas. This year's attendance, I think, may reach the all-time limit. It will be about 240, and we'll have uh, several breakout sessions over topics like human trafficking, internet crimes against children, um, several domestic violence topics about uh, civil justice for victims of crime. Chief Ramirez was the one who originally uh, gave us the, the opportunity to come here and it's been supported by the city council and the mayor for almost or over 10 years. It's, it's been a wonderful facility where we've trained hundreds if not thousands of people. I've got to know just what you do, how successful you are, how committed you are, and how dedicated you are. I think you will help so many that are in dire need and you're there when they are in those most stressful situations. You know, as district attorney, uh, responsibility is to keep the community safe. Uh, and we do a lot to, to try to make sure the community is safe. But one thing that's most important is being a voice for victims. Uh, some people can't speak because of injury or death. Some people are just unwilling to speak because they're afraid. So we take this job very seriously. That's what this conference is about, is providing voices for victims. And so as we evolve, I'm just very fortunate that we've started this and had this going on so long because it's a dire need in our community. We start planning for this conference um, as soon as the last year's conference ends. That entails identifying speakers that are gonna speak about topics that are pretty important to advocates, attorneys, law enforcement. Once we identify the speakers, we are going to start securing food donations. We start creating programs. We go through the whole process from beginning to end. That's kind of what we do, and then take care of anything that may come up. These folks who are around here in these breakout sessions, they're your local people who are serving the public out here because we are blessed in Fort Bend County to have some wonderful public servants who are sharing their specialized knowledge with the rest of us. And that's where we get the bulk of the breakout sessions. We have presentations throughout the day from prosecutors from the DA's office. We have folks uh, from Missouri City PD presenting. We have folks from Sugarland PD presenting. Um, it's, we are blessed in Fort Bend County to have a lot of talented public servants and we put them on display and help them share their knowledge with the rest of Fort Bend County. Uh, I expect this conference just to continue to grow. Uh, expect more people. Uh, we have uh, Texas Council on Family Violence participating this year, so I'd expect that more uh, agencies will get involved. So I expect the panel uh, and participation to continue to grow and the, uh, the recognition of what we're doing to continue to increase. For Stafford Weekly News, I'm Fernando Ramirez.